but I will not advise to adjust frame range either by read note or time clip because Hi, I am Basantra Singh. As soon as you open the new, the by default timeline will show as 1 to 100. This is showing in point of the clip sequence. This is showing out point of the clip and sequence. This is showing frame rate and this is timeline frame. If you select time code, it will appear like any editing software. But we always work on frames. So we never change this. We always keep timeline frames this is showing global so we can set timeline by global input in out and visual when we start working on the any project any script any compositing task we always set first as a global frame range in bigger studio this is already set by that backend team as soon as you open that specific shot of the specific sequence that frame range already set but if you have to set the manually click anywhere in the node graph and then press yes yes for Shimla and this project settings will be appear and here we can set frame range and you can lock that range if you click anywhere in that viewer and then press yes then it will open the viewer settings but for project settings always first click in the node graph and then press yes setting frame range is very important we work in a specific range so first we set for the global but in compositing task lot of times we use different clips and element of the different frame range and in that frame range sometimes we desire only particular frame range to work on if you import any read node it will change your global timeline so this cliff has frame range of 1 to 135 as soon as I imported, it's updated my timeline. So this is happened only the first time you import any clip if your global timeline is not set. Now we can set frame range in multiple ways. Today we will talk about how to set frame range non-destructively in Nuke. Nuke is node-based system, so it doesn't have timeline but we can still perform editorial like operations we have time menu and in that we have lot of time related nodes where we can adjust frame rate adjust frame range and slip in the clip means we can offset we can move forward or backward in the timeline so first i have this footage which have 1 to 135 frame just to view frame and for visibility i am taking a text node and writing frame so now this will show at which frame we are so presently i am first frame so it's showing one if i am the last frame it's showing 135 if i am 100 frame it's showing 100 any frame at whatever frame we will go it will show that frame now we can adjust frame range but adjusting frame range in non-destructive way is very important so in read node there is option showing original range frame range frame expression start at offset today we will talk only about the frame range in the next video of this time series we will talk about that offsetting the things so this is original range and this is frame range i am copying this and i am writing this as a original range and here i am again copying this to this now i am adjusting frame range 50 and 100 my global range is 1 to 135 but if we change it to the input it will show as input this is total 135 frame so it will show like that but here i have updated frame range so as soon as i click one for this clip view it will update a timeline according to this frame range 30 to 100 now if you view from here it will show this timeline so we can adjust frame range from read node but this is not advisable why i will tell you later the other way is time clip node if you view see this time clip and this read node has almost similar parameters except some additional parameters in the time clip time clip also have original range like read node 
it's also had frame range like read node and it also had frame expression start at offset just like the read node it just have some addition of the fade in fade out which is useful in the some cases here i am interested in setting the frame range so if i am setting the frame range from just like above 30 and 100 so if you view from here this whole range because this is original range i have not changed in that read node is showing 1 to 135 i am at 100 frame so it's showing 100 frame if you view from the time clip it will update at 30 to 100 setting frame range by the read node and setting frame range by the time clip node between these two i will advise use time clip because in compositing we always work in explicit way means whatever you are working should visible by the node graph here if anyone see the script they don't know if something changes at that read node parameters but if anyone watches this script they clearly understand okay either some frame range adjusted or some offset is happening in this clip but i will not advise to adjust frame range either by read node or time clip because this both method are destructive how first understand this so this is our original range i have not changed anything in that read node so i am going to the first frame and just for checking i am perfectly drawing a roto at the first frame check later is it first frame or not so if you apply a grade here at that first frame it will appear like this perfectly covering now if i view from here it's also showing the first frame but this is not the first frame how if i attach this grade node here and view from here it's not matching if you view from the text node it's showing one actually it's the hold of the 30 frame this hold saying whatever before the 30 frame whatever after the 100 frame hold that so it's showing one but it's the frame hold of the 30 frame if i go to the 30 frame nothing is changing same way this is original range this is my first frame but if you go to the time clip it's black at the first frame if i come to the 30 frame it's showing 30 frame but if i go at 29 frame and if i go here it's showing black because here is the setting is that showing black outer of this range it means setting frame range in any read node or setting frame range by time clip node clipping your footage outer of the frame range means we all know our original range is 1 to 135 but as soon as you fix that frame range 30 to 100 you lost all the frame from 1 to 29 and 101 to 135 and this is not good for the procedural work later if you need any frame outer of this range you can't recall that frame down in the line so what's the correct way to adjusting the frame range as name suggests we have one node called frame range now see this is frame range and this is our original range i am doing the same thing here is the text because it's displaying that frame number so if i go to the frame range again i am setting 30 and again i am saying 100 just like i set in that read node time clip node so now in the frame range node if you view the dope sheet this is original clip it's showing timeline 1 to 135 if you view the read node with adjusted it will show like so this is 30 to 100 if you view from this time clip again it's showing 30 to 100 now if you view from the frame range i have set 30 to 100 so on top it so again it's showing 30 to 100 but it's not clipping your clip means it's not removing the outer range data if i am taking frame hold and pressing one so now if you go to the frame hold it's showing the first frame and apply this color correction it's completely matching so this frame range setting the frame range but it's not clipping range outer of this frame range so in down in the line you can always recall that frame which is not in your frame range if i attach this frame hold to the time clip it's going to black because it's showing outer this range black if i attach this frame hold to where i set frame range by the read node it's showing the frame but it's showing the hold frame it's not aligning but if i attach here frame range here i am getting actual frame one so 
we can set our frame range by these three ways. You have to choose, take informed decision and be aware what's happening behind if you choose any of this method. I hope this is helpful. Please share your feedback. We will share more timeline adjustment with the different time nodes in the coming videos. Thank you.